it's not like the snap system is all bad. Like there's there are things I don't like about it, but one of the things I do like about it is that the developer experience is way nicer mm -hmm. than any other universal packaging format. Snapcraft is a pretty good experience compared to say Flatpak Builder or the App Image Builder and all those other things. Um, they really put some thought into that, um, but because they were building these professional you know, these professional snaps that are available in the snap store. It's like, well, we got to be able to access them. Mm -hmm. Like we have to have access to that. Yeah, content. We have serious projects in here, like Slack and Spotify and the, right. uh, uh, the jet brain stuff is in here as well. And all of these other, like, you know, big things people recognize. Right. Uh, and I, like I'd been to a couple of those sprints where, representatives of those companies were working with canonical hand in hand to make and maintain them. Right. So like, uh, I don't think that that was a wrong choice for me to make sure that snaps worked well in Fedora because I didn't know then which one was going to win out. And more importantly, it flatpack still hasn't won. None of those companies that are making snaps now are making flat packs mm -hmm. for whatever reason they're not doing it. So I think it was still the right choice to do that. And it makes sense for us to be in that space to make sure that we are able to do that. Um, I, I totally get... I was going to... Be, uh, sorry. I was, I was going to say, I, I totally get like having it be in that space. I was more curious about like... Because I'm not involved like in much of the Toro community. I'm sort of watching it from the outside. Like how much sure. of the like user interest there is in Snaps in the first place? I think in the beginning, there was a lot more of it. It kind of died down over time as the continued pressure and marketing attention. Like somebody finally figured out that Flatpak needed to be marketed. Sure, sure. And 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 Flathub too. And so that eventually started, um, I think that started, you know, defaults matter. And and Fedora Workstation had with with Flatpak out of the box and an easy button to activate Flathub mm -hmm. was a big deal. And uh, that, that, and then like there were spats with people who were maintaining GNOME software. There were spats with people upstream. There was just, just it was a whole mess that made, you know, my life as the snap system maintainer in Fedora a little bit more difficult than it needed to be. Um, but you know, I still know people who use snaps in Fedora. Like, I mean, some of my, you know, colleagues in, in, in the past, like they use Fedora, but they also use Snaps because that's the way to get those things. Right. Um, it, it is what it is. Like from the Flatpak side, I think Red Hat making a long-term stable Flatpak runtime, mm -hmm. making that available for people to build software freely on it and making it available, say, on Flathub, getting the desktop software that's included in RHEL into their universal base image stuff that will make a big difference if they decide to do it. Like I know there's been hints and rumors about it for years. I don't know if they'll actually pull it off at some point. If they do, um, I think it will, it'll be the tipping point that'll make companies want to build commercial flat packs because the problem with, with flat packs right now is long-term support for an application. Mm -hmm. A commercial application is required, right. just flat out required. You can't not have that. Um, but, community the the flat hub community just isn't equipped to do that mm -hmm. they don't have and the free desktop runtime is not aimed for that it is just not so you've got to have something for that red hat makes a flat pack runtime mm -hmm. they build flat pack apps on that runtime it's in the red hat catalog and if you are a rel subscriber whether you have a free one or a paid one you have access to those apps but i haven't seen much beyond you know, Red Hat produced stuff. We'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. um, maybe they'll make a big push with RHEL 10, which is coming in a couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, but who knows? <laughs> who knows? <laughs> maybe. Look. Maybe. Look, it could happen. Uh, it would be cool. I, it def I, it I definitely hope, would be I, cool. I, I hope they do because, like, I want, I want Red Hat to, I want Red Hat to to do something. Mm -hmm more engaging in the desktop space right and in the uh and and in the professional desktop space there's a lot of there's a lot on that pie that that, that they're not they're not slicing up and, and taking taking it on so there's there's definitely some stuff that they could do mm-hmm